So there's one very pragmatic thing that the university can do, and it's something that in my last institution, I, I um, was the, the primary faculty mentor for this. Um, and I don't know if in European institutions, the endowments of universities are as large as what they are in the United States, but any kind of investment that the university is involved with, you should first and foremostly be making a very concerted effort to divest any investment of the university from fossil fuels. That makes a very loud, clear, pragmatic statement that you're committed to this. And that would be the best way to start the launching of a planetary well well-being movement across the university because it would be a very confident, clear, pragmatic gesture. The university can also put, put forward a social and environmental responsibility plan that operates at all levels of the university. And then beyond that, I think any kind of um, goal around planetary well-being must recognise that it's no one single, single discipline that's able to lead that movement. I think we sometimes tend to sort of fall back into the Enlightenment series of values and think just the sciences and engineering are going to get us out of this problem. And they're not, right? They're, going to, they're part of the picture, most definitely. But it's got to be in concert with the social and political sciences and it's got to be in concert with arts and humanities as well.